Welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2024. ISC is the largest integration systems show in the world, right here in Barcelona. So Andrew, can you talk to us about how you're positioned in the pro-AV broadcast market? Absolutely. So AIMS is a consortium of about 100 manufacturers dedicated to open standards in AV over IP in the broadcast and pro-AV industry. So we represent standards such as SEMTI 2110, AES 67, and the new emerging standard called IPMX, which is actually built on SEMTI 2110 and AES 67, but extended in important ways for the uh, pro-AV market. So AIMS is really um, you know, we're a kind of a, a, a place where all the manufacturers, some of them compete with each other, you know, they all get together and they promote and they develop standards for IPMX. What trends are you seeing with regards to the technology in the industry? Well, we, you know, one trend we're seeing, you know, very quite closely is, is, is a move towards open standards, right? So customers, they, they want to be able to have um, the freedom to purchase the best of breed product for their particular application. They want to be able to have the security of knowing that their, uh, pro their, you know, their systems are going to be supported in the future, no matter you know what happens, you know. Um, and so they're they're demanding open standards, and that's where Ames comes in. That's where IPMX comes in. Yeah. So. What are you showcasing here this year at ISE? Well, so Ames has two other sister organizations. One of them's AMWA, and the other one is called VSF. And VSF is where the the, the core uh, transport protocol for IPMX is developed. Now, just last week, we had a testing event where we had five different manufacturers come together and create a, um, basically a, tested all of the core documents for IPMX. The end of that test, everything passed. So what that means is now, those documents are set for ratification. So in our booth here, we've got a demonstration of all of those manufacturers, you know, they were in that testing event and now we're showing IPMX um, and running through all of those, you know, different manufacturers' equipment. And it's a huge milestone for IPMX. It means that now manufacturers can start making IPMX product knowing that what they do today is gonna to be compatible with IPMX in the future when it's, when it's uh, finally ratified. And who are you targeting with this, and what do you see as the future use prospective cases? Well, I mean, as a standards organization, you know, our target is the entire market, right? We're, we're looking, you know, end users and integrators, they're clamoring. That's where the demand really is driven from for open standards. And then, uh, of course, manufacturers like ourselves, we make, you know, uh, well, actually, so I'm a volunteer at Ames, but I also work for another company. And, you know, we make products and we work with other companies that make components and for, um, for uh, IPMX as well. So really it's the entire industry, right? Because if you think about um, I AV over IP, right? AV over IP is basically just video and audio over IP networks. Everybody wants to move from baseband technologies with their limited cable length and the limited, you know, their specialty connectors and all that, they want to move to standard networks. Well, if the whole industry moves to a standard network, then basically AV over IP is how our industry works. It's the foundational technology of our industry. So, you know, supporting that and making that an open standard, we think is an incredibly important uh, thing to do, so. And just tell us a little bit more about your latest development. Uh, well, so after you know that testing event, um, we brought it into this uh, facility in here. So we've got a very exciting demonstration. Actually, if you're able to come into the Ames booth and, and check it out, um, we've got um, uh, a, a huge video wall here that's got uh, the, the tile processor and then the presentation switcher. Those are two different manufacturers. IPMX in, on IPMX out on both of those. We're taking multiple feeds in from the entire facility. We're showing a um, a digital signage example where we're taking HTCP um, content, we're uh, taking non-HTCP content, we're compositing that together, and through the whole chain, different manufacturers, that those that HTCP uh, key exchange, or basically the HTCP uh, is maintained through the whole chain in a way that's compliant and multi-vendor, which is, which is really cool. It's the first time that's been done. Um, and we also have software implementations, we have hardware implementations, so Really what we're showing at the show here today is just that next level of IPMX development and integration that is, is really showing the amazing progress we've been able to make. What do you think the future holds for Ames Alliance? 
Well, you know, ratification of the standard. I would hope that, you know, that I see that in the future. Um, and I think once that happens and you start to see IPMX products out in the marketplace, Ames will be, you know, an important permanent uh, institution inside the pro aviation industry. And we're looking forward to that. Very exciting times. Thank you so much, Andrew. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.